everybody. We're with Theo Tony, who's just got done a hard workout, uh, hard class on Saturday morning. Uh, how are you feeling today? Oh, I feel incredible. I love it, love it, love it. Awesome. So, uh, you, what was your last fight? I know it wasn't too long ago. How did that go? My last fight, uh, to be honest with you, I, I can't remember. I know I was supposed to fight um, Oneida. You know, unfortunately it didn't happen, but you know what? This is what I do. I love the game. You know, I'm there to support, you know. I love, you know, love watching fights, you know, saw Jesse Go's fight, you know, it was pretty good, you know, it was exciting, you know, I'm challenging for that belt, I want that belt, you know, but you know, I love it, love it, you know, Jesse Gross, I love you, man, I got a lot of respect for you, too. Nice, well, I'd love to see that fight, I know it'll be a killer fight, Jesse, uh, he's always puts on a show, I, I think he's fighting back this Oneida on the 26th, would love to see you fight on that one, too, but if it, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And uh, you come from a wrestling background. How does that translate well into karate for MMA for you? Well, um, fortunately, you know, I was able to have, I had a coach, you know, Chris Kelman. You know, he was very, very creative with his style of wrestling. So he, what he did, he threw in a lot of judo, which is, you know, a lot of, it's redirecting body weight. You know, so from that on, you know, I took up, I went to the States, you know, wrestled with, uh, you know, Ohio team, you know, and then I started picking up a little Wing Chun, which is the same, which redirecting, you know. So after all, I was able to translate easily with my, my Kyokushin, with the uh, Ishinru, the karate, and I was able to, you know, eventually sort of develop my own style. You know, but the whole concept with wrestling, you know, you're learning to outthink your opponent, outmaneuver them. You got to work on different principles, you know, and it all relates back to, you know, traditional martial arts. Awesome. So you're known as the, uh, the poetic, you're known as the poetic hitman. How did you come across that, uh, that nickname? It's quite an original one. Well, um, basically, you know, I'm, I'm somewhat of a thinker. And at the same time, you know, I love working out. You know, so it's a combination of two. I've been, you know, I've been a poet for 15 years. You know, I've been trained for 14. You know, so the way I looked at it is, you know, I love fighting, but at the same time, I love, you know, thinking. I love, you know, I'm a philosopher. So poetic came and what it means is I, I go to war with my, with my hands, but I defeat opponents with my mind. You know, that's a simple concept. Uh, sounds good. I mean, and that's a good concept to be successful in this business. You have a, a big fight coming up in the EWFC. It's going to be your pro debut. Well, what do you make of that? And do you know your opponent? You know what? You know, I've from years, years from wrestling. You know, I'm not worried about my opponent, right? You know, I gotta look at myself. I gotta fine tune all my mistakes. I'm stubborn. I know what I'm. I know I love ice cream. Right, I gotta cut that out. Right, I'm stubborn. So what I gotta do is I gotta work myself. And you know what, my opponents, they gotta be ready. They gotta be ready for me when I'm training 24/7 all day, every day. They gotta be ready for that. You know what? I love everyone out there, but you know what? This is a business. I gotta, you know, love them, but I gotta respect the hell out of them. You know, simple as that. Oh, definitely. And you have a you have an extensive amateur career. You're well known in <clears throat> the states and in Canada. What do you expect from your pro uh, career, and how do you expect it to go? Uh, you know what? It will be successful because, you know, I've learned a lot from my mistakes. You know, I'm not perfect, but you know what? I aim to be, right? I chisel out everything, and I work hard. Every fight is going to be better. Cool. So how long do, we, do you expect to be before we see you in the big shows? You know what? Hopefully not too long. You know, I'm hungry. I'm eager. You know, you know, amateur, I love it, but you know what? The big leagues is where I belong. That's my home. Awesome. So other than Jesse Gross, uh, anyone you're aiming at or any organizations you're looking to hit? Uh, you know, Asenza, you know, great guy. You know, I got to avenge that loss. Sorry, buddy. You know, Gross, great guy. You know, and, you know, I'm, I'm ready for anyone. Even I see the King of Cage champion, check them out. There's a lot of guys who are on my hit list, you know simple as that you know i'm the poetic hit man but people gotta understand i'm not just a poet and i'm more than just a man simple nice stuff. well we're we're waiting to see the hit list get brought up and we uh we know you give a good fight with anyone the fight with Asenza was fight of the night when we saw it and it, it was an amazing battle we'd love to see it again thanks a lot for taking the time with us you got anything uh words to tell your fans you know what keep on training you know i always tell myself i trained today to be better than i was yesterday there you have it from the poetic hit man thank you <laughs> Thank you.